Welcome to the NWI.com Political Roundtable for Thursday, February 16th. I'm Robert Blaskowitz, Assistant Managing Editor of The Times. Here with me today, Doug Ross, Editorial Page Editor of The Times, and Times columnist Mark Kiesling. Uh, lots to talk about. Let's start off uh, giving a little preview to a column that uh, columnist Brian Howie's going to have in Sunday's edition. Uh, our readers can look for that. Um, but he's writing about kind of the state of the, how the Indiana Democrats. And the state is not very good. D- oh, no, Brian, no, Brian, writes, <laughs> Brian writes out of Indianapolis. Right, so. right. right. And uh, uh, he's looking at the, the mass uh, retirement of, of a number of Democrats. I mean, we're talking... Including you know, some from Lake County. Ch- exactly. Chet uh, Dobis, Chet most Dobis, notably. Dan uh, Stevenson. So. Uh, well, Chet it, Dobis, one of the... Uh, one of the longest yeah. The serving. Longest. Yeah. Well, he's tied with... Uh, well, yeah. with Pat Bauer. And, yeah. and that's the other uh, uh, player in the, in the uh, column, which you'll read, of course, uh, uh, nwi.com. <laughs> and uh, the full version will be on, online. And the uh, shorter version... Uh, uh, in print. For, for in print. Uh, the dead tree version. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. But... Um, friendly uh, Pat Bauer is basically the the architect of, of the defeat of the Democratic Party, is, is essentially what the column is saying. I mean, which is fairly ironic because because he's the minority leader, exactly, uh, and you know he's led them over a cliff, basically. Yeah. And that's the problem. Well, you also have in the mix there, if you want to, you know, cast blame, you've got Dan Parker, who's the right. state party chairman. Uh, and if you want to go back, you can even uh, throw Evan By in, into that mix because you know he's. He's kind of someone who was the de facto leader of the Indiana Democrats, right. and he kind of has gone away, never to be exactly. heard from again, except for on Fox News and in lobbying circles. Right. I mean, um, you know, the, basically the party needs real good, solid leadership, mm-hmm. and you know, statewide, it just doesn't have. Does not have it. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, the point that Howie makes, you know, right up at the start of the column is that. Um, the Republicans are set to take a super majority. And uh, that's going to last for, for decades. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're basically that the Democrats, you know, couldn't even stop anything by staying out, you know, they, they, they would have a, a quorum with just Republicans. So exactly. the Democrats would basically be powerless. Now, Indi- Indiana is kind of a weird state. They, they like, they vote a lot of Democratic locally, mm-hmm. but they vote a lot of Republican nationally. So. I mean, what does this mean? Um, well, hard telling. Uh, the, the easy answer is um, the Republicans are ascendant, and mm-hmm. uh, and then that you know will affect national elections. Um, you know, of course, Obama took the state uh, four years ago. Might not do it. Will not do it that easily. Uh, uh, if at this all, this year for sure. If at all. The, the bigger question, I think, for us here is is how is, is you know, if the, if the Democrats are in that much of a, of a minority, how is it going to impact us here, where basically the, mo- the major- vast majority of our delegation are Democrats? Uh, how will that imp- impact the clout that, that, you know, we basically have here? Well, I think, I think what's going to happen is there's going to have to be some concessions made. And I, I, it's I, I mean, the, you know, frankly, they won't have any clout. Um, because you know you won't have the committee chairmanships. Uh, the Republicans will be in charge of the redistricting, ten years. You know um, they'll they'll keep themselves in power. Mm-hmm. That's just the way it goes. Uh, and and basically it would it would take the Republicans screwing up really bad for <laughs> the Democrats to be able to Badly. take over. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, you know the the thing is is you have Democrats up here who are more like Republicans socially um, than a lot of Democrats across the country. So it, it, it's, not like, it's not like the people in Lake County or Porter County vote for, uh, well, Democrats. They vote for the, they vote for the, par- the, well, the yeah. person, yeah. Right, right. And, and I think we saw that on the right to work issue where I think, even yeah. the Republicans up here were against it. Right. So, um, you know, uh, what that means for for trying to get you know region specific initiatives accomplished downstate, um, 
boy, they better have good luck this year mm -hmm. because that might not happen. Does Pat Bauer survive? Well, uh, that's if, a good question. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, he'll get reelected. Right, but does he survive? Uh, but as does he survive in power? I, I think there's going to be some serious challenges. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the people who could have challenged him, you know, Chet Dobas, for instance, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, he really kind of fell out of favor and right. and uh, uh, got shunted aside. You know, who is the strong enough Democrat to to uh, take control of the delegation? Mm -hmm. I don't know because I mean, anytime you you compete against somebody who's who's held power for that long, yeah. you put yourself at serious risk. Well, you know what, Chair Dobis, um, you you look at his service and you look at his you know ostensible move to to Cherville, then you look at his now he's kind of backing off and no, I still live in Merrillville, and uh, w w was he going to you know, who was he going to face? You know, mm -hmm. at that point, um, how much of a how much of a uh, factor do you think that was in his decision not to run again? Um, I think he he was really on the fence uh, about whether to run, and I think it was he a picket fence that really hurts. Exactly, <laughs> and 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 it could have been barbed wire. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, so so he might have. Uh, uh, <laughs> he had really I, good shoes. So I touched a. Uh, Electri electrified barbed wire fence once, and I'll tell you what, really, it, it does hurt. <laughs> well, I, I think he was yeah. hurting pretty bad and decided, you know, like you said uh, uh, at the Lake County Advancement Committee last mm -hmm. Friday, he said, you know, even if I win, what do I win? Yeah. Well, well, let's shift gears. We, we touched briefly on national politics in, 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 in the presidential race, but the interesting development with some local implications. Uh, in Rick Santorum's quest to get on the Indiana primary yeah, ballot, ballot. Yeah. Uh, and and the election board that's going to be, be basically deciding his fate. And we're uh, talking about Dan Dumasich being is exactly being headed up right. by uh, local Sheriffville Republican Dan Dumasich, so who has is not been uh, shy about his support for Mitt Romney. In fact, exactly, he's, he's hosted a fundraiser. For well, he well, he hosted a fundraiser for Mitt Romney four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, he is the, the 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 powers that be in Indiana. I mean, you, you look at uh, Indianapolis, and the, they they have come out four square for Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if they will this year, um, but you look at um, here's a good here's a good example. Uh, Bob Grand from Munster uh, is now a lawyer in Indianapolis. Has been for years. Um, and you know, my he was the class president of my high school. So, um, <laughs> but he, uh, you know, he he was a big fundraiser for Romney, and that's where they wanted to go four years ago. Mm -hmm. And you know, I I don't know. I is is Dumasic going to try to keep Santorum off the ballot, or what? And what? And, and, and how much how much difference does it really make in the long run? Is anybody like Rick Santorum or Mitt Romney going to be diff able to, to uh, beat Barack Obama? Well, first you've got to get the Republican nomination. Right. Well, right. And, and that's I mean, I someone's think, still going to be in play. Could, you know, it could be. You know, it could be anybody. Yeah. Well, I mean, it that, won't be that's, Michelle that's, Bachman, but you know, uh, aside from that, I think that's the interesting thing is that is that you know, a few months ago we probably figured by this time. The race would be We'd pretty know. much decided, right? Uh, and it's not decided. The fact that 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 it could go to May and still be up in the air when, when Indiana's comes up, it, oh, it could still be. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it, 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 could, it could be way up in the air. I so think. it so I think it shines an even brighter spotlight on Dan Dumasic and his role here. I think he's got to be very careful with the way he uh, right he what, conducts himself here. What I think is is really interesting about this is that the is that the nation's focus is going to be on Indiana. You've got. Uh, uh, a secretary of state who you know is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, been convicted of, of uh, vote fraud. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of course, that's being appealed and all of that. You have the whole uh, the judge ordered the recount commission to to uh, uh, rule him ineligible to run. Now that's being appealed to the Supreme Court, which is fast tracking it. Mm -hmm. So you know, there's there's a lot of focus on Indiana because of mm -hmm. that. Well, and then if you have the San four years ago. ballot access. There was a huge amount of focus on Indiana four years well, ago. Right. Uh, that, that, that is the, uh, that's the time when you had Tom McDermott 
and Rudy Clay right. facing sure. off on mayor CNN. Fight, fight. When yeah. we no, had Hillary fight, Clinton yeah. doing shots at Broncos and Crown Point, it was, it was <laughs> fantastic. I, 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 Crown Royal, she did Crown yes. Royal. Yes. Yes. And, uh, With Tom McDermott. <laughs> what I think was interesting uh, about, you know, if you want to look at, uh, let's step back and look at the issue. Uh -huh. The issue is you have partisans running elections. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, look at, I mean, at Florida in, in 2000, uh, the, the November election, and you had uh, basically the Secretary of State running the election Catherine down there. Harris. Exactly. Who was, yeah. uh, guess who's uh, campaign manager well, for Florida? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, who, where's the surprise there? I mean, that's not Exactly. Now, now the question is, you know, is there a way to depoliticize the uh, um, uh, administration of elections? No. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the, the, nobody else would care. Yeah, no, the but, answer is, yeah, just like two letters. No. Yeah. So, uh, well, it gives us, gives us something to talk about. So and that's <laughs> it all, sure does. That's all the time we have this week. Uh, we'll be back next week to talk more politics uh, on another political roundtable. Thanks for watching.